So let's analyze the PED further. Remember we were talking about two things to look out for, the sign and the value. Now demand curves are usually downward sloping. This means that price and quantity changes in the opposite direction. When price increases, quantity demand decreases. So when your mass bars goes for cheaper, the price decreases, you usually buy more of them. So the quantity demanded increases. Thus, when working with the PED, you're usually certainly working with negative figures. So in fact, there is so, it is so common uh, to be negative for PED that uh, sometimes we leave out the negative sign when we talk about PED because everyone understands that PED is by default negative. So let's now concentrate on the value of the number. This tells us whether the demand is elastic or inelastic. Elastic is when a change in price causes a larger than proportional change in quantity demanded. For example, if I have a PED of 5 for mass bars, this simply means that when the price increases by 10%, quantity demanded decreases by 50%. Now, this is a larger than proportionate change. 50% is larger than 10%. This happens when the PED is more than 1, or what we call a price elastic demand. However, when your PED is less than 1, this means that, let's say your price increases by 40%, then the resulting change in quantity demand is around 20%, that's 0.5. So there will be a less than proportionate change in quantity demanded. This means that the demand is price inelastic. Unit elasticity happens when PED goes to 1. So change by 10%, quantity demanded change by 10%. Um, so again, when PED is less than 1, inelastic. When PED is more than 1, elastic. When PED is equal to 1, unit.